material is, is rather light and so it does not descend very quickly. The winds were very stagnant, so they didn't blow it away and so it just looked like a big blob. We may never know whether it was an unusual wind pattern, a technical glitch, or something entirely different that caused the Huntsville storm that never was, but most radar mysteries can be solved simply by asking the experts. I would contact the National Weather Service, ask them what you're looking at on radar, and they will get back to you. Don't think we're getting invaded by Martians before you uh, before you ask. I mean, we may be, but I'd ask first. We use all kinds of colorful descriptions to describe rain, like it's raining buckets. But sometimes the tales of what falls from the sky during a storm can't be explained at all. At number seven, it's raining fish and frogs. It's, it's a straight up catfish, it's just in the road. I have heard of animals falling from the sky and it ranges from frogs to alligators to fish. These fantastic stories have been around since biblical times. Meteorologically, it's certainly possible for water animals to end up somewhere unexpected. If you have a huge tornado that's producing winds uh, over 200 miles an hour, and it can pick up chunks of dirt two to three feet deep, you can certainly pick up a small pond or a lake. But the stories that really capture our imagination describe a downpour of thousands of just one type of creature. Could a tornado passing over water pick up such a huge quantity of animals, sort them by species, then deposit only one type over land? Or is something else happening? There are all sorts of frogs and toads that live in deserts, some of the driest habitats in the world. And their trick for getting away with doing that is that they simply bury underground and wait till it rains, which can be years. This state of suspended animation comes to an end only when it finally rains. And all of a sudden there's toads everywhere, all over the ground. 